Hey guys, man, here in 20 back again. Today is going to be a full review of Donkey Kong for the NES. It's, uh, yeah, it doesn't get much more old school than this, guys. This was first in the arcade back in the day, of course. Got ported to the NES, and, I don't know, for 500 points, is it worth it? Uh, only if you're a die-hard Donkey Kong fan. I don't know. Of course, I've downloaded it because it has Mario in it. Okay, okay, so he was called Jumpman back in the day. He wasn't really Mario yet because, okay, Mario didn't come out, so he was called Jumpman back in the day. And that's not Princess Peach up top that you're saving that some people think. It's actually Pauline, so, yeah. I'll go ahead and take Jumpman, but I'm just going to go ahead and call him Mario. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. But yeah, you know, it's classic. I mean, I downloaded it purely for the nostalgia and the fact that this is where Mario was originated from. But yeah, if you guys haven't played the original Donkey Kong, it consists of three levels that keep repeating themselves, and it gets harder and harder as it goes on. You just hold the Wii Remote sideways and... You just use the two button to jump, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's self-explanatory. I'll beat the game real quick, and then we'll end the video. You can go ahead and collect her purse and umbrella for extra points. Here's the last level. All you gotta do is jump over these uh, blocks, make them disappear, and then Donkey Kong will come crashing to the ground. Real simple. Like I said, the challenge ain't really there when you play it through the first time, but once you get to the second or third time, it really does, those fire guys get really fast, and there's more of them, and everything's real fast-paced, the barrels are flying everywhere, and it's really hard and challenging game, guys. But like you said, I went ahead and beat it this time, and I'm going to go ahead and play it again. And it just gets harder, and you're playing the same level o over and over again, but it gets harder and harder and harder. And no, I'm not that good to where I'm going to end up getting a kill screen because of my score and stuff like that. I'll tell you what, the King of Kong has nothing on me. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but yeah, really, really fun game. Uh... Is it worth, again, is it worth the 500 points only if you're a diehard Donkey Kong fan and you really do want to go old school and play, uh, and play the game? Because you really ain't getting too much, uh, you know, game here for five bucks. But it does, I mean, get harder and harder as you go along. Like I said, I guess I'll beat it again. But as you can see, it's, the fire guy is getting a little bit faster. And I really like playing this game with my new joystick that I bought, my arcade stick. Uh, it makes it really feel like an uh, old school uh, uh, you know, arcade because actually I'm using a joystick instead of this uh, Wii Remote. As you can see, the fire guys are actually starting to come after me now. They didn't do that the first time. See, this guy, he's coming after me now. And if you think that's something, I mean, it gets really, like, ridiculously hard. And it's kind of like Pac-Man. You just got to learn the pattern and uh, where they're going to be. These guys are going to try to corner me here. That's when you bust out the trusty hammer. Oh, they're running scared. Oh, God. 
look at this. Ah, oh, they got me. <laughs> yeah, fun game, real fun. But yeah, again, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, is it worth downloading? To me, it is. Uh, to each its own. I mean, I figure I just put this video up so you guys know what you're getting if you do decide to download it. But that's pretty much all for me right now. I uh, hope you guys all enjoy this video. This is a nice little short video here of Donkey Kong. Uh, and there'll be more to come shortly, guys. Thanks again.